Hello everyone and welcome back to some of place into the breach. Defend the tanks, bonus objective for two. Or get another power grid. No, let's do this. I want to defend the tanks. We've got engineers working on two old earth tanks in this region. They should be up and running shortly after you arrive. Oh. What is this? What a, a twist. I can. I think I can have the tank in the back since he's attacking through all the buildings. Units with a power are inactive and cannot move or attack. Okay. Yeah, it still works. That's beautiful. You're gonna block the spawn and get damaged. Oh, I guess you are not gonna do that. That's already wrong sequencing. I should have done this first. If I do this attack, uh, is it gonna? It's gonna damage the building. Even though he dies to the uh, to the attack, it's still gonna damage the building. Okay, I screwed this up. The damage is not too bad, but the Vex surviving is annoying and not stopping the spawn. Can we get the tanks up and running, please? No. We can't use the... Oh, no! I think I already screwed this up. I should have reset the last turn for the... Because I'm gonna lose a tank here. He cannot ever move to help with an attack. He can push two away if we move him over here. No. He can't even push them away. It's, it's completely pointless. And you can only attack the first one now. Punch here. We could move you over there. And then there's still two attacks. You cannot save any of them. Actually. Okay, let's see if, how this works. And he's still attacking. Yeah, I think this is the best we could do. And it's honestly pretty bad. You cannot move here. That's annoying. I want to hit this tile to push him away and push him into the fire. That's not gonna work. Since... Unit... Cannot attack in water. I guess I gotta take the damage. And feel... Oh, no! We can move the tank! That's completely fine. He's gonna die. First thing. 
next turn. Since we're gonna kill the flying dude over here. And then he is 1 HP and the first thing that happens is fire damage. Did we have the tank up on the second turn as well and I completely screwed it up? By the way, that would make me very sad. Doesn't do much. Okay. Fine. We rid him of everything. We lost the tank. I think I might have screwed this up as well. It's the start of the game and I'm utterly terrible. Okay, so we only get we can't get everything, so we should take the if we move fast through here we can get on one of these, and they're probably worth it, I think about it. Instead of taking the first four objectives, we should probably move through here and get one, two, three, and then we unlock one of those before we fight the boss. That's the boss. What does it do? Massive and high fleeter. Yeah. Launches scoop projectiles in two directions. Four damage? Say what? You can attack through buildings still, and you are an artillery still. So we're gonna have those guys at the back line, and then... Okay. This seems like a valid idea. No, I could actually... Oh my god, this is gonna be amazing. What is the attack? Oh, the boss attacks first, right? Yeah, okay. Get this in here. This is gonna be amazing. <laughs> oh! What a, what a beauty. What an utter beauty. You know what? Boss, why don't you kill your own guy again? Thank you very much. And now you move over here. Knock you into the drink. And then you move over here and... Oh no, wait, I don't even have to shoot there. He's gonna, just gonna die. It's better not to shoot, actually. A promotion! All right, both of those guys got promoted. I need to check what happened. You guys are not going to be happy here. Okay, first off, now we will move you towards the front line. Kill the boss. Move you here. You can attack the building without damaging. You are going to protect the spawn spot here. Hit you with that. Plus one mech move and plus two mech HP on the artilleries. Yeah, that's not too bad. And he's also oh, almost level three already. I feel very confident we got this in the bag. You're still not going to be happy, guys. Actually, I can just... Bam. Level up, final promotion, plus one mag reactor. Whoa, that's amazing. And we'll end the turn. No attacks incoming, the guys are gone. And it's a flawless boss fight.
continue. Pilot at max reactor increases by one. Very nice. Understood. Plus one mech move is nice. Plus two HP is nice. Region secured. Spend reputation. Aha! Now this is the interesting stuff. I guess the face cannon is just... Ah, no, that has different upgrades. It gets a face shield and plus one damage, and this one has plus one damage and another plus one damage. Spartan shield. Bash the enemy, flip in its attack direction. Interesting. A reactor core and a grid power. Cyro launcher. Freeze yourself at the target. Till with potential to launch multiple small projectiles. Oh, the next upgrade is plus two tiles. Is it doing more then? Fire beam. What the hell is this? It applies fire in a line. It's basically one damage. No matching mech class. Ah, we need a mech this works with. Yeah, g give, give us the reputation. Does two damage and instead of knocking it back it flips the attack direction. Why not buy it? We'll buy two reactor cores as well and continue. Now I can upgrade some stuff. Charge any distance before punching. Now if we upgrade this... Gain a shield when bashing. Uh-huh. I don't know, the damage is kinda nice, but this could also be pretty nice. Plus two damage, face shield. Applies a shield to the building it passes through. Ooh. We get two, co two cores right now, so we can equip something. Plus one damage? I guess the face shield could be nice when we're trying to save something. Plus one damage is also nice. Maybe we install those two over here and then use it on the face shield or the additional damage. I kind of like this one. It's very tactical. By completing one island you have unlocked RST Corporation. In future games you will be able to visit unlocked islands in any order. Terraforming specialists RST turned the environment against the VEC and nearly destroyed the island in the process. Threat scanner, VEC, leader... Ah, I see. That's also Different every run, I guess. My advisors insist we're losing the fight. They also insist I trust you. And since those cowards rarely insist I do anything, I'm giving you the chance to prove yourself. Okay. RST training. It's high threat detected. And... We get a power, like an, an additional power cell if we win this. I am gonna try this, but... Okay, what is this? Terraformer. Cannot be moved by any weapon effect. Eradicate all life in front of the terraformer. Oh dear lord. <laughs> what does this do? Lop a single literally shot at the tile for one damage. Okay, what does this do? Charge forward and damage and push the target. Damages three. Holy crap, what an alpha beetle. Normal beetles just tile will turn into smoke when damaged, preventing this unit from attacking. Oh, because you're on sand. Okay, I see. 
and launches a volatile mass of goo and deals 3 damage. Those guys are a lot more dangerous than they were before. What does this do? Turns into smoke. Units in smoke cannot re-attack or repair. Okay, I see. Defend the terraform and terraform the glass run back to desert. Did I just lose two? No, there was a there was a mountain right now. I'm certainly gonna do this. Since it's gonna shield those guys, that's perfect. He's not attacking at all. We could push you away as well. I'd rather push you Seraphim units under your control in your mission. So we need to what all the gla grassland, we need to turn this and this and this. It's three additional turns. Thing is, if I move this over to block this, it's gonna hit something because I eradicated the mountain. Should have probably moved him first and then used the terraformer. I wanna try it to, to do it right. Think before you act, my dude. This is a lot better. I'm gonna take a hit to prevent one spot units of smoke cannot attack or repair. I'm gonna take a hit. Why not repair if you can't use anything? Doesn't work then. Ooh, what does this do? Let's see. Blast Scion. Uh, all the other work will explode on death, dealing one damage to adjacent tiles. Not terrible. And you are charging forward. But, since we got the shield on this one. And the attack is cancelled since you're in the smoke. That's perfect. What you can do is... Terraform this crap. And then what you're gonna do is repair damage. And continue blocking. You will move back over here. And also repair damage. Even though you're not damaged at all. We're getting there. Thank you for moving into the terraformer. We gotta terraform the glass red land back into desert anyways, so... Might as well do this. <laughs> okay, listen here. We got, I got an idea. Ah, oh, but we could we could have you here and still block a spawn. I could move away so that this this beetle attacks the other guy. But I think I'd rather Thing is, I need to take a hit now. Three damage if I do that. If I hit this one, yeah, I think I screwed this up. What I should have done is not move him over here, but instead put him here and shield. Just the like attack through the building and shield it as well. And then you could have killed him. And you could have damaged him. And everything would have been fine. And you could have could have repaired and then still blocked. 
Now we can have you repair. Oh, wait a second. We got the... oh. Oh, the attack is interrupted anyways. Oh, this is even better actually. Now you're gonna block this, you're gonna get damaged by the beetle attack, you're gonna block the spawn. Oh! Oh! Guys! I'm loving this. Ah, oh, never mind. The beetle does a knockback. Okay. That's us terraforming everything back. Now, how do we do this? Okay, I think what I'm gonna do first is attack this. Nice. Then I'm gonna move you here. Hit you. You are not a problem at all. I'm just gonna dodge this. Oh. I guess that's still fine actually. Since you got a shield, you can block the damage. Oh, I'm loving the upgrades we got on the max. That was perfect tactical play. Just amazing. I can install another. Give you some more moves so you can. I mean, the, the face cannon face shield combination is great, and the shield here is great as well. We'll just leave the reactor core for now, I think. And we're gonna sun catch array. Tesla fields? It's one one we could use Tesla fields and then go for this one. Nah, kill at least seven enemies, protect the old earth bar, and we got seismic activity. That's two stars. Let's do it. Cataclysm. Marked squares will sink into the earth, killing anything on them. Oh, we got a time pod. Okay, let's look at the battlefield. Every Anything in these ones is gonna die. We need to secure the pod. I'd like to for you to not hit that. Gotta dodge this and he's attacking for three. And he is attacking last. What does this do? and push the target. Reverse the attack direction of an attack is nice. You could also knock you back here and then knock you back further. That does work. And then we could just hit you, reverse your attack direction. Oh, never mind, the attack is cancelled. Oh no 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 no! Uh, I should have I should have pushed him back instead onto the spawn. It's also a damage, but it prevents the spawn. That was a misplay. Oh what! That that looks awesome. The seismic charge. Wow. 
That's interesting, we can use this to our advantage. Well, he does all of they explode, deal one damage to adjacent tiles if they die. part of the map I should position this. I'm not entirely sure what to do here. Like I could move in, kill you, you damage this guy and he's gonna move through. That's pretty sad still. We could move the tank over here, shoot him, hit him, in shoot him into this, like look damage him and then the guy explodes and kills him and then we get this, this done. Maybe I'd rather get some better stuff. I think this might be the best stuff. I mean this is this building is protected. That's fine. If we move out of the way here, that's also protected. Or we could just get the pod and not attack. Now they're not not exploding anymore. And we'll almost kill you. You're not gonna hit. No one is getting damage. Yeah, you can't take anything. Just repair yourself. No, repairing doesn't matter, so yes, we're fine. The cataclysm is scary. That's pretty awkward for my artillery. He does attack first, he deals 3 damage and pushes back. That would kill this one and damage our grid for 1. Doesn't seem like a good idea at all. Could kill him. Take two damage on this mech. Oh, I don't know. Thing with the artillery is what we can do is push him away. Ooh. If I push him over here and reverse the attack direction, he's gonna kill him. Though you get the the attack gets interrupted anyways. Okay, I think that's I think that's the way to go. Push him over here as attack is cancelled. We'll move the mech here. Or do we move him oh we could move him here and reverse his attack so he doesn't get damaged. And we gotta move you away and hit one of those guys. Probably like this. Could kill the beetle, could kill this guy, but I think we're gonna do it like this. Reverse your attack. It's not gonna hit an enemy a friend sadly, but the the tank with the face cannon at shields, it seems like a top tier item, honestly. That's our last turn.
see the attack order. Uh, that's a bit sad. You can finally move now. Oh no wait, it's not sad at all. Look at this, that's already a great attack. We can kill you, we can move you into there and kill you. How much damage does he do? One damage. So I'd rather kill him. The damage gets shielded. Oh, all the shields in our, in our setup, we, I feel like we've got very, very strong mech equipment right now. Like the tank with the shields is amazing and he shielding himself is also really, really nice. Ah, we didn't kill seven enemies though. Didn't pay attention. We got the pod. What do we get? A reactor core. Completely fine. A lightning storm. I We will go for Scorched Earth or the bunkers. I guess we take the lightning storm then. But we got two... Could increase the damage here, we could increase the damage here. We could, instead of buildings being immune, we could increase the damage on the artillery. doesn't seem great. This does seem great though. On the other hand, another move. It's also pretty nice. And then I think we'll just leave it at that. I think the move is fine. Ah, also it's time. We gotta stop the episode. We'll continue next episode. We'll fight Scorched Earth I think and then we can do this as the fourth one and then do the boss next episode hopefully. This is going so much better than the last run we did. So far, it went pretty nice. I mean, we didn't kill the enemy, so we did, it didn't went perfect, but no damage taken. Great progress, and I like our setup. I hope you guys are having fun as well. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.